For the past year or so, there has been a lot of speculation on Boeing's new middle-of-the-market aircraft, the dubbed 797. It's been pinned as a replacement to the 757, especially on transatlantic routes operated by the US Big 3, and for the 767-200 and 767-300ER on medium-range routes. Entry into service has been set for 2025, but does Airbus have any kind of aircraft which would take on the new 797 effectively? To understand the market for the 797 and an Airbus counterpart, we have to look at the aircraft which currently serve it. The 757-200 was first entered into service on the 1st of January 1983, and by 2004 had sold just over 1,000 airframes to 54 customers. More recently, however, we have seen Delta Airlines, United Airlines and American Airlines all place 757s on transatlantic services to Europe from the United States, able to do so from the aircraft's range and that it will be more profitable than with the larger aircraft. Although Airbus and Boeing have replaced many domestic and regional 757s with their 8321 and 737900 aircraft, they can't replace this niche market but currently only the 757 is capable of economically serving. Now Airbus has already tried entering this market before, starting back in 1978 when they launched the A300B10, a development of their proven A300 widebody. Entering service in April 1983 with Swissair, the new aircraft, eventually named the A310, was a small relative of the A300, able to seat up to 195 passengers in a two-class and 245 in a single-class configuration. This aircraft, unlike the 757 released at around the same time, was designed for longer-range routes compared to the Boeing narrowbody. However, the aircraft saw only 255 deliveries, and today only 47 of them remain in service. In a way, Airbus produced the aircraft for a market that didn't properly exist yet, similar to what happened to Boeing 767-200. As early as 2015, Air Lease Corporation CEO Stephen Udvar Hazy, I hope I got that right, predicted the 757 replacement as a 767-esque twin-aisle jet that had 20% further range and more capacity than the 757-200. In July 2016, Boeing forecast demand for 4,000 to 5,000 aircraft in the middle of the market segment, which would seat 200 to 250 passengers and have more than 4,000 nautical miles of range. At the March 2017 ISTAT Americas Conference, United Airlines CFO Andrew Levy confirmed the 797 would be a twin-aisle aircraft that would have two variants to carry 225 to 260 passengers with a range of 4,800 to 5,200 nautical miles. Multiple airlines expressed potential interest. Alaska Airlines, Emirates and Delta Airlines for transatlantic flights. In 2018, Delta expressed interest to be the potential launch customer of the type as the airline is eager to replace its 27 757s and 80 767s with average ages from 15 to 22 years. At the time of scripting this video, Boeing is in active talks with about 50 potential customers for two main versions, a 225-seat variant with 5,000 nautical miles of range and a 275-seat variant with 4,500 nautical miles of range. Airbus, however, seem almost absent from these talks about a 757 replacement. The two closest aircraft they have to a potential 797 are the 240-seat AT21LR with a typical range of 4,000 nautical miles and the 257-seat AT30800neo but with a typical range of 7,500 nautical miles. This range issue has left the variant of the AT30neo left out of the market, compounded by Hawaiian Airlines cancellation for six of them in March 2018 in favour of 10 Boeing 787-9s. However, United Airlines have expressed interest in the aircraft. The larger 900 Neo has received 215 orders at the time of scripting, but has mainly been ordered to replace the Boeing 767-300ER on medium-range routes. The aircraft can seat typically 287 passengers with 6,550 nautical miles of range. But could Airbus benefit from their own clean sheet aircraft design for the middle of the market? Well, in 2016, Airbus sales head John Lay said the industry has no need for a new middle of the market plane since the AT21neo is already on sale. Personally, I think times have changed and that Airbus should be seriously considering launching an A360 or something like that that would effectively compete with Boeing's new 797 aircraft. Since the 797 isn't supposed to be in service until at the earliest, 2025, Airbus could try to sway airlines towards its A321LR aircraft, but airlines say it isn't really cut out for the job. Recently, Lufthansa CEO Carsten Spohr said that they wanted an even longer range AT21LR, as the current design cannot fly from Germany to the US East Coast. This has prompted Airbus to consider an AT21LR Plus, or an AT22 type aircraft, that would help compete against Boeing's new middle of the market aircraft and give airlines more flexibility compared to the AT21LR. Remember, this aircraft has just 60 orders when Airbus claimed it could sell a thousand of them, whilst the 797's potential orders are in the thousands, with multiple airlines interested. So what do you think? Have Airbus already supplied the market with the middle-of-the-market aircraft in the form of the AT21LR and AT30neo? Should they launch a brand new clean sheet design like Boeing to compete, or create an even more capable AT21 variant to supply the market? Let me know in the comments below. 
So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video if you decide to watch that one as well. Bye.